In podcast number two from chapter 11, we're going to learn the difference between diploid and haploid. And like most words in science, they're trying to tell you what's going on. The DI, that refers to two. The ploid part refers to chromosomes. And remember, this is my little symbol for chromosomes because I'm too lazy to write out the word chromosome. So basically what this word means is you have two of each kind of chromosome. When you have two kinds of or two of each chromosomes, another way of saying that is chromosomes come in pairs. Why do they come in pairs in these kind of organisms? It's because they have homologous chromosomes. And if you look at the word homologous, you can see this root word here, this prefix called homo, that means the same. So these are the same kind of chromosomes. You have these chromosomes because you've got one from mommy, so we'll say this green one right here that's the maternal chromosome and then this green one right here you got that one from daddy now these symbols come from the Roman pantheon the Roman gods and this is the symbol for Venus uh, goddess of uh, beauty and then this is from the god Mars uh, the warrior god so this is a symbol for males and this is a symbol for females okay. the reason that you get one from mommy and you get one from daddy is that you went through sexual reproduction. All right. Now, let's look at these symbols down here. And right. just write this off to the side in your notes. The symbol for diploid, or you can write diploid equals 2n. Now, I like to write the lowercase letter, but it's okay if you write the uppercase letter. It doesn't mean any difference. They're both an n. Now remember, in sexual reproduction, half the DNA comes from one parent, the other half comes from the other. So as you can see in this imaginary cell, we have three pairs of chromosomes. One of each of these three came from mommy, the other half or the other three came from daddy, and they paired themselves up as a homologous pair or homologous set. So we could call this, you have two of chromosome number one, you have two of chromosome number two, and obviously two of chromosome number three. And if you want to display this in a mathematical term, six equals two n. The diploid number for this particular cell is six. You have three pairs. All right. What does haploid mean? It's essentially the opposite of diploid. The HA refers to one half and remember the ploid part that refers to chromosome so you have half the number of chromosomes as compared to the diploid cell so what this means is the chromosomes do not come in pairs you only have one of each kind the only kind of cells in a human being that have this are the gametes which are the ovum and the sperm cell All right. The ovum is the fancy scientific term for uh, the egg cell. So the ovum, the ovum is the female gamete. The sperm cell, that's the male gamete. Uh, gametes is just a fancy word that means reproductive cell or a sex cell. Right? So as you can see here, um, the sperm cell has half the DNA and the egg cell has the other half of DNA. When they come together, you're going to have a complete set of homologous chromosomes, two of each, each pair. Okay, now, the symbol for haploid is going to be N. So N equals haploid. I don't believe that's on this slide. All right. So if we look at humans, in humans, 2N equals 46. In other words, humans have 46 chromosomes. Now, if you just use basic algebra, you can figure out that n equals 46 divided by 2, therefore n equals 23. The human haploid number is 23. So every gamete is going to have 23 chromosomes. So this sperm cell here has 23 chromosomes. This egg cell in here 23 chromosomes. When the two come together, you're going to have one of each of the 23, and that's going to give you the 46, because 2 times n equals 46. All right. 
we have 23 different kinds of chromosomes in the human genome, but together we have 46 because we are a diploid organism. All right, now, when the gametes join together, we're going to have a fertilized egg. And a fertilized egg is when you have a sperm and an egg cell come together. The fertilized egg has way too many letters to write is often referred to as a zygote. The zygote is the first diploid cell that will create the organism. All right. Now, how do we go from having 46 chromosomes down to 23? In other words, how do we go from diploid to haploid? We have to go through a special type of cell division called meiosis. And that is going to be the topic of our next podcast. So make sure you check out podcast number three when we start to learn about meiosis.